You're listening to Jones's Jukebox, Kel OS. It is now seven minutes after 12 bells on an absolute gorgeous day out there today. Oh man, beautiful. So nice. I love it when it's like that. Not, and it's about 70 degrees as well, even though it doesn't say that on the on the weather channel. It is. It's going to be 70. Um, I stayed out in Malibu last night. It was even nicer there. I'm sure it's gorgeous today. I wish I was out there now and not in here. But what are you going to do? Um, that was uh, The Hives. I hate to say, I told you so. And before that was Yellow, Don't Bring Me Down. We have The Vandals on yes. the box right now. How Hello. are you, Joe? I'm good. Good to see you, Steve. It's just like old times. Joe Escalante, bass player, and Warren Fitzgerald, guitar. Hi. How are you? I'm good. It's yeah. a nice day. It is a gorgeous day. Do you live in town? Uh, Huntington Beach. Do you? Yeah. The clouds are extra fluffy today. It's yeah, nice. puffy, fluffy, yeah. just big balls of optimism. Goodness. Yeah. Big, go <laughs> big balls of goodness. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Joe. Yes. What you been up to? You you have a thing, right? You have a you have a podcast. Uh, I. Oh, no, you do it. You do a. I do AM radio. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm on. Uh, after I left uh, the the indie station with you, I um, ended up on AM radio, uh, doing um, the Hollywood, you know, uh, business legal advice kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, legal. Le barely legal radio. Yes, it. And uh, after the Me Too uh, uh, scandal that I had, we had to change the name to Joe Escalante Live from Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> That's only half true. But, uh, yeah, so I'm on this. I'm in between Rush Limbaugh and Ron Burgundy on a Sunday night. As your looks. It's happen. true. <laughs> and uh, Jesse Jackson. It's like a weird station. You don't need to know about it. That but, um, you what? know, I'm having fun. And then, I, and then I write for television during the week. So you stay busy. Yes. That's good. You have a television? Do, uh, I do have a, t I have a yeah. couple of t televisions, yeah. Uh, um, you watch them? Yeah. Yeah, good. I like TV. What do you like? What did I watch last night? Let me think, because uh, I watched uh, Rain Man. Ah. It just really? it just happened to be on now. I've it seen just, it before. Right. It feels like it was 100 years ago with the big sh shoulder pads and uh, no mm -hmm. s no cell phones. And, right. And uh, it's, it's, it's still, but, you know. It aged okay. Yeah. It's yeah, a good I performance. Seen it. Yeah. I like it. It's not bad, and then uh, time for Wapner. What did I watch? <laughs> Kmart, four hundred Oak Street. Kmart, I'm a very good yeah, four hundred <laughs> Oak Street, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, <laughs> oh man, in real life though, that would drive me nuts if I had to look after someone. Well, that's what I do when the vandals. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the rain man. You're, you're yeah. rain man. Yeah. We used to call them homeschool, and then homeschool actually started becoming a thing. People like regular people get homeschooled now, so now he's just rain man. He's like Asperger, like Jack Asperger. Yeah, <laughs> I think that'd be a great name for a burger stand. Asperger. Impossible Asperger. Yeah. <laughs> How good is that? It's a no-brainer. It's so obvious. You're right. World oh. famous. What's going on for Jesse Asperger. James? Asperger. <laughs> <It's, laughs> Do you notice that everyone who's got a burger you stand? You're going to on the spectrum too. Everyone's like, world famous. Oh, they're all world famous. Yeah. 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 World famous. World famous burgers. It's Hollywood pants. They're, they put Hollywood the same kind of thing. If you put Hollywood on a name like. Hollywood suits. It just sounds fancy. It, it sounds like it's it, yeah, uh, it's showbiz. a thing. Yeah, Hollywood. <laughs> oh, Joey, baby, <laughs> coming back to you. <laughs> what time did you used to get up when you did the morning show on the Indie One Hundred Three One? Uh, I set my alarm for five, but I'd always spring out of bed at four forty-five, about four thirty, going. Ah! You already dressed? Just, uh, no, I would take. I would. I was so afraid of waking up my wife. I would just slither out, and I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I I just didn't want to disturb her. It was really jarring for me. It, it, it was I never got used to it. And when you woke up, that first foot feeling when you yeah. woke up, you're like, oh no, I got to do this. Yeah, going going to I was just going. Anxiety. I know one day I'm going to walk into that studio and there's going to be a guy with a cowboy hat, a big mustache, and a big giant belt buckle, and he's going to speak to me in Spanish and say, I no longer work here. And um, I and knew that happened. And it did happen. You're I, I, every yeah. day, See? I, every day, I thought you it was the day. Should have predicted that. <laughs> yes, that's no should have. I should have been more vocal, but um, <laughs> yeah. And it finally happened. And uh, you know, it was like, that really? bum, did it bum you out? Really, it's okay. Um, no, I mean, the, all I could think about is the four thirty in the morning part. You know, I was just like, okay. And I remember I went to see the Who. 
uh, a, a play on a Sunday night right after that. And I go, wow, look at these people. They're out late at night and they're doing things. This is what <laughs> I missed for two and a half years. Yeah. Well, no one was twisting your arm to do it. No, I, was lo- I loved it. But it's one of those things. You love it. I, and I didn't have enough time to take advantage of all the perks. Because I was doing that Wino Wednesday thing, and we're, all the restaurants wanted to be on the show, and they're all t- they're all treating me like a celebrity at their restaurants, giving me great tables. But I couldn't. There wasn't. I had to go to bed too early to to really to go en- to a restaurant yeah. to to enjoy all That's that stuff. So it's a mixed bag. Yeah, you just feel for Regis Philbin. He did this his whole life. Yeah, life's tough, Joe. Yeah, yeah. ask Regis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of those things, you know. Oh. I used to watch people on the morning go, man, they get up at two or three or four. I go, oh, that must put it, but they're making money and they're famous. They must, what do they think? How does it, how, how stoked are they? Then it happened to me. Yeah. I get up at a, a reasonable way. I got a good gig. Yeah. Noon to oh, two. yeah. Oh, there's nothing Noon's, like that. That's civilized, yeah. I actually don't know what to do with myself in the morning. I got so much time. <laughs> oh, you, oh you, there's YouTube or uh, no, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, Social media. Yeah. You're, you're not. You, you haven't lost any uh, anything there. It's, I've it, been a it, bit slow lately. Yeah, a little bit. I've noticed. I, I haven't yeah. done any right. uh, nat, natty ones. I, I need to get in the groove and do some natty videos. You got to feel it though. I'm thinking of. You can't force it. That's it. Mm-hmm. It's like anything else. When you when when it, when it, when the old juices are flowing, mm-hmm. you get creative. Yeah. Don't force it. Yeah. It's like art. Yeah. Do you uh, do you do uh, Instagram? Warren? I, I like I have my phone and so it kind of makes videos for me now and then. It has, has the personal assistant that kind of goes through your crap and oh, so you have content. someone who does it for you. Well, his name's Bixby, but it's like an imaginary, you know, AI or whatever in the phone that goes through your photos and kind of arranges things. And I like really, it. yeah. What's and he does Instagram. He's an Instagram. Yeah, I just film. Uh, hang on, ridic- what, what are you I film like Rain Man stuff. So it's basically like stuff out of context and it pieces it together. Like here's a video we made for you. What is it? An app. Like it's Facebook, just Google uh, or whatever it is, Android, whatever the software. Memories. Is. Yeah, and it says like Facebook memories. Huntington he- Beach last Thursday, and you went to the Goodwill and the Sabers and uh, <laughs> bought a bunch of dolls. You know. How did it know you did that? Because you took pictures of it. I think it spies on me like all the time. Well, I yeah. think that's a that's a that's a given. It knows more about me than I do. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of just presumes what I would like on top of it, and I just post some of that because it's usually really. It's like if a robot wrote a song, I guess. It's kind he of... collects CPR toddlers. And, yep. uh, What's that? Know, the CPR baby to practice CPR, like on a baby. It's like a man. Oh, you do? Yeah, I got... Well, they're blowing them out at some of these places. They're really cheap. They're uh, like bl- five uh, bucks. Uh, blowing them out like blow up dolls. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that's oh, what is that? You get yeah. the idea. It's. I'm doing it to, to save lives, you know what I mean? Not from violent perversions, you know what I mean? But th- my perversions sure. are completely different than... than sure, one. <laughs> well... You're just doing uh, research. I got it. I'm <laughs> playing a character. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, mm-hmm. Go on. But the thing's amazing because um, CPR babies look stunningly real, and they breathe if you help them. Are they yeah. kind of the same size as babies? It's a yeah, and like it, a baby. It, you actually do have to blow it up first, and then you <laughs> do the little thing, and you do this for your its fingers. Heart. You, you, two two first fingers for the heart, like. Staying alive, staying alive. Yeah. No, don't pound it with your fist. You got to... Yeah. How, how you, you many? We got a baby here. Like I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> how many have you got these? Uh, these. Uh... Well, I'm kind of treating them like they're me. Like they're kind of booted all of myself in a weird way that I'm serendipitously encountering. So keep I've got bigger on. ones. Like I've, I've got up to a toddler that you got baby right? about five of them. So yeah. it's like one that's a. <laughs> I don't have a zygote yet or anything like a whatever like an embryo yet. Or like I'm working on that maybe. Something. Are you uh, do you do you uh, do you put clothes on them or they just na- oh, yeah. naked? Oh I make clothes for them. Yeah. You make clothes for them. Yeah. They're kind of them kind of dolls give me a creepy. Oh, they're me. horrifying. That's why he likes they're, them. They're worse than clowns. You go yeah. to his house and it's you know, and especially if you're like, well, I made a um, table out of one. Like like you, I took yeah. a microphone stand and. Just like kind of stuck them together and put a glass thing on top of it, and it's like a table made of babies. It's hideous. Great. Yeah. You can put your drinks on it, whatever. It's like. And yeah, but use a coaster. It's, it's better than a crib. Take a lot of time to make. It's, you know, <laughs> it's art, basically. It, and it's better than IKEA. Well, it's better than friends, you know. <laughs> it's just like you can hang out with them, they don't talk or whatever. You just kind of just, they do whatever you want. Yeah. So, you know. What else have you been up to other than that? Well, a lot Listen of. Listen about with kids. Family photos. To, with 
you know, like they were my family. With their clothes on. They're so, like baby pictures. So this, painting also. this thing you're talking about, mm-hmm. this, uh, what is it? Uh, Bixby? Yeah, Bixby. Uh-huh. Does, it, does it tell you what to do in the day? It tries. It's it, it. Every once in a while, kind of like, you can tell they're kind of working out the kinks of like what you'll tolerate. Yeah. And it'll be like, hey, uh, here's a suggestion. Uh, you know, you Googled waffles last week. So, um, right. you know, there's a lot of waffles. Here's some waffle trivia. You know? Don't, 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 don't phones just do that anyway, though? Know? Like one minute you'll be talking to someone. And the phone's not yeah. on or nothing yeah. about some Dr. Martins. Yeah. Ten minutes later, you'll get something on Facebook. Hey, got these Dr. Martins for you. Mm-hmm. You just think it. It seems to happen. Like yeah. I would, like think about opera, and all of a sudden it's like it's telling me about opera. It feels like that. It's crossed that barrier. But what actually is it? Do you know what that is? You seem like a brainiac. Do you it's, know what that is? It's, it's basically the AI. It's a very specific AI of where it's like how they, you know, what is a cat? Like, it, you know, here's a bunch of cats that it can look at, and it understands the catness of a cat. So that's it how it, you know, its consciousness kind of comes into existence. Here's 10 trillion cats, and you can actually go dream me up a cat, you know, in an AI scenario. And yeah. it looks horrifying generally, but it's you know, kind of like almost psychedelic. But yeah. it, it's definitely how you would kind of dream up a cat. It's the same idea. So basically, that's how it kind of wanders around through all your information. So it's, okay. But what sets it off? What sets it off? If patterns, you're not, if you're not on patterns, the phone. I think patterns. Yeah. Well, the pa- if the phone's d- dark, you know, you yeah. can you can wake it up by talking. So obviously, it's it's waiting for you to talk. So the, what you mean is the mic's on all the yeah, time. Yeah, I, I assume so. it's on all the time. I I, didn't, I wasn't so creeped out about it until remember, like a, a couple of weeks ago, I heard this guy that he was a partner in Facebook in the beginning, and then he was mad at Mark Zuckerberg because he said he sacrificed, you know, all the cool things he could have done, uh, privacy from clicks and all that stuff. So I think that guy was trying to say. That's what he's. That's what I got out of that. Is he's trying to say, Mark Zuckerberg is used used all these things to invade your privacy when he didn't have to, and he could have been cool, and he wasn't cool. And so I'm. It's, I find it's, it hard to believe that he's not cool. You're not the coolest guy ever. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was I shocked too. Like, Facebook's awesome. How yeah. can, how can, yeah. know, how can all, he not be the coolest but, guy in the you world? Know, a lot, a, but also, a lot of people complain about Facebook. Uh, again, no one's forcing you to be on there, and it's free. Yeah. It, it's, it's the attention economy. Is the idea that it's it exists by just engaging you. Yeah. And so that's why it's always kind of bullcrap or like make it take longer or, you know, your feed make it, you know, antagonizing. Yeah. And you react better when it's more random. Yeah. It's like gambling. Yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a strange looking dude, uh, Zuckerberg. He looks like he's from Mars or something. He should get a new body and face and head. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. He could afford it. Maybe right? you can help him out with one of your babies. <laughs> you know, I'll draw get a plan for a Zuck- blueprint. Zuckerberg doll. Zuckerberg two point or something, yeah, that'd be fine. Uh, but but you know what I mean? He kind of looks like he's an alien trying to look like a human. Like well, he's, he's, if there ever there was a lizard person, it would be Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's actually he, right. he fits all the definitions. The shapeshifter. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to shapeshift this weekend down in uh, Las Vegas, right? <laughs> yeah, Speaking we're going to yeah. We're going to put on our cloaks of invisibility and walk around Las Vegas. Ah, someone read a book. For the um, <laughs> <laughs> it's an English book. For the uh, uh, punk rock bowling, that's what we're here to discuss. <laughs> totally forgot what it was, but it's good. Yeah, punk Three rock words. bowling. Even better, that's punk rock. Punk rock bowling. P R B. Uh, you don't have any glasses? No. Well, oh, yeah, my uh, my assistant has them. Oh, look at this. Okay, punk rock. Whoa, it's punk rock bowling, May twenty fourth through May twenty seventh in downtown Las Vegas, featuring the Hives, the Specials. Uh, the undertones. That's that's your roommate, oh, yeah. your former roomies, roommates over there in uh, England. The Irish guys. Yeah. Oh, they are. Okay. The Stranglers, uh, the Damned, Pennywise, Rancid, Refused, and more. more now we're, we're more. The more. Yeah. I think we're the more. Yeah. The, like, vandals the Vandals are the yeah. Vandals yeah. are the more. Exactly. Yeah. We're, where are you guys? You're not on there. We're yeah. a surprise guests. Is, is, that, yeah. is that because you're here? You don't have to say you're. Oh, it playing. would be insulting to put us on this list of headliners um, when when we're already here. Right. You know? Yeah. They don't want to. It's embarrassing. Besides, for we're them. more than them. It says yeah. right there. So yeah, we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play Sunday night. It's it's. Um, are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive about about that. We're gonna play Sunday at the Golden Nugget. Really? Yeah. yeah. That that place. That old, the old joint. Yeah, it's an old joint. It's been there forever. Been yeah. there forever. Downtown, yeah, the Fremont. I mean, last time I was at this thing, oh, uh, 
Yeah, they, they're, they're nuggets, telling me 6 p.m. Last time I was at this thing, it's um, you know, it's a big hotel, and then they have the uh, parking lot. They put the stage in there. I remember I was able to watch Iggy Pop from my my uh, hotel room, uh, and then there's other little concerts going on at little clubs, and then we're on the main stage at 6 p.m. on Sunday, um, and that's the Descendants night. Is that what? Yeah, so the night of the Descendants, and yeah. it's. Um, you know, it's it's it sounds like hell on earth when someone calls you and says you want to play a bowling tournament in Las Vegas where every punk rock the punk in the rock, world yeah. is going to descend upon. But when you, by the time you cash your paycheck, you're glad you did it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. once you've kind of given up on it being, oh sorry, once you've given up on it being anything like neat or fun, you know, like it's it's surprisingly quaint. Exactly. You're you're actually happy with how it turned out if you if you you know lower your expectations. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I've got to admit, I'm not a big fan of Las Vegas because I don't drink or anything. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of. I'm kind of walking around like. It's the sound. The casinos. I think it's like ding 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 ding. That well, Rain Man. There's a, there was a yeah, whole right, scene in there. Right, right, right. I like it. He I don't gamble, I, but I, I just like it. I just love people smoking cigarettes inside. Okay, that you know, I enjoy. I, that's, I, that's surreal. Because yeah. that's never going to come back. You know, it's a planet we'll never, we'll never get that back. And but it's still there in Las Vegas. They're hanging in there. It's like it's repulsive in a way, but man, you're still doing it. It's awesome. You should start smoking. <laughs> I, I want to start smoking yeah. when I go there. It takes me like three beers. I'll, st- I'll smoke a cigarette. You will yeah. a clove. Yeah. A clove. If you have one, you have any? Anyone holding? You guys got clothes? Yeah. No, but I, I think it's hilarious. The whole place, that the fact that someone made Las Vegas and it's still there and it's going on. I like Nuclear testing? It. It's down the street? Yeah, I'd love it. Is that Area 50? Area 51 is right no, next to, it's right next to Area 50. The, 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 Where the aliens called, are. Yeah, Roswell. The, Roswell. Yeah. In New Mexico, yeah. The, oh, that's, too, that's, that's miles away. It's too far to go. Yeah. But what's the one down the street in Vegas? That's the 51, yeah, Area yeah. 51. And Area 51. But they tested nuclear. You could actually yeah. see the mushroom clouds. Yeah. As they were testing them, like from Las Vegas, like you know, they would actually—it's amazing. There's pictures of people, you know, in their front yard, the kids like mushroom cloud, and per- everybody's fine, perfectly safe. Yeah. Oh, here's I mean, yeah, some- radioactive. Yeah, it's not a problem. I think it's good is, for you. It's a little more safe than they thought. Cause- they got, they got, their kids have four heads now. <laughs> but They're probably super smart. And like, yeah. But do they? Do they really? And are, oh, I don't know. Supposedly there were some aliens in there too. And lizard people. Yeah. Well, I mean, they had to get the technology from somewhere. I mean, yeah. There's definitely a lot of lizards in Vegas in the desert. Oh, oh yeah, no, that makes Where sense. Where were their people? I'm not sure. Where were the lizards, lizards come from? Cocktail, Las Vegas, cocktail, wait- cocktail waitresses. Shape oh shape. yes, mm-hmm. not lizards. Should we play some music? Sure. Let's I think do we're, it. I think we're losing. I yeah. think we're losing. Yeah, no, we're, <laughs> we're going to play uh, the Vandals. Don't stop me now. We yeah. are here with Joe Escalante and Warren Fitzgerald from the Vandals, and they are. This gonna, is Warren on the vocals. Okay, take it away. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox and Cal OS. That was Ian Hunter, a track called Lounge Lizard. <laughs> and before that was Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies. What are the odds? We started off with the Vandals. Don't Stop Me Now. Yes. A beautiful version of yeah. the Queen. Uh, was yeah. that actually a hit for Queen? It, I don't think it was ever... A proper single, I think. Uh. It, I think when all the re- reality shows came with singers, they think they gravitated toward that song. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of became like a good audition song. Is yeah. like how it's supposedly known. Like, I guess. Uh, like when Warren played me the demo, I thought it was an original that he wrote. That's how obscure it was. And I was kind of a Queen fan, but I was more Sparks kind of guy. But, Love Sparks. Yeah. But I, I thought he had written that song. And I go, man, we have a hit on our hands. And he goes, no, it's Queen. I go, oh, you're right. And that's how obscure it was. And now you hear it every day on a reality show or a theme song or something. Like you, it's it's an you, out there song too. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, bizarre. It's, it's, it's almost like Lady Gaga. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's very show tuny. And yeah, it's definitely quite a number. And it was the song. It was the most ridiculous, one of their more ridiculous songs yeah. that I thought I could maybe sing. Like, well, you did a good job, and it sounds good. You. Did you? Did you? Do you always play that live? I lean towards. I like playing that because it's. It translates well live. It's like, don't stop me. It's the end, end of the set usually, too, so it kind of has a double meaning, I guess. At the end of the show. Meaning. That's the showstopper yeah. at the end. We have like a couple that we the show rotate don't stop at her, the yeah. end, and Warren comes out, and we pretend it's spontaneous, and we've done it the exact same way for the 32 years. Yeah. So, yeah, and but it's fresh every night <laughs> <laughs> somehow. Does, uh, do, do the punters look forward to it, that song? 
Yes. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I don't, I, they might think it's our song originally too. Who oh, knows? Yeah. 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 And we have another song called I Have a Date that we rotate between this one and I Have a Date, which was by the Simple Tones. But everyone thinks it's our song. Um, I sing that as well, so, like the covers. I, yeah. I'm the karaoke guy. Well, you know what? Like, like when Van Halen first, you know, was at their big hit with a kink song. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure. You really I, got me. I'm sure most of the punters yeah. who, who bought that song had no idea of the kinks. The that must have been like barely 10 years after the original came out, too. Right. Like, yeah. Wow. The, key, the key is when you're playing live is don't introduce it as a cover. Just play it. Just or play a new it. song. Just yeah. play it. Yeah. yeah. Quite right. We've come on Field of Noise. No, yeah. No one had heard of Slade. That took me a long time to figure out. I still think those are out. their songs originally, aren't they? Yeah. Those are Quiet Riot songs. They wrote them, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming. You are funny. I know. <laughs> but is... Yeah, I'm just learning about that era of rock and roll, which is kind of awesome. Actually, all that stuff with YouTube. Like, if you like this, they recommend something else. Oh, he's a YouTube rabbit hole fanatic. Yeah. This is, this is so you're a yeah. conspiracist? Uh, well, uh, I think it's a conspiracy, like, you know, to maybe write a song or do an album. It's kind of a conspiracy, like getting together and doing something like, you know. I'm going to say he's not. He's not. No. You are, Joe. No, people think he's I'm religious. Cause, well, because I write, I, I write for ancient aliens, so people tend to think I've, I'm part of these the conspiracy cults or whatever. But, Twin hats. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, a, I'm a normal Catholic boy that, that I've, I've fallen for every single thing in one two thousand year old religion, so nothing else really gets into my brain. So but I love, I love writing about space aliens and uh, and demons and all that. Kind so, of stuff. so being very religious, what are you Catholic? I'm Catholic, but I don't know. You know, I'm. I, I don't know if I'm. If I'm very religious, because I. I'm. I'm such a degenerate. You know, That's but, how I'm, but I you show are, up. You realize. But you then you can that. just go and say sorry in the box. You can. Oh, I did it. Did it last Saturday. The box. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Last Saturday. Sorry in the box. In the jo kiosk. Jones's confessional box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you were ordained, you could have the same, the same uh, powers, the mystical powers. <laughs> what is that? That bloody word. What does it mean? Ordained. Ordained means that the bish the, the bishop uh, put his hands on you and made you part of the apostolic secession. So from Peter all the way down, the, the all the apostles made you a priest and you're in the line of Mount really the Prince of Melchizedek. What's it, like the word or ordained? You're ordained. Or in not, the long yeah. light of a priest of Melchizedek, you are ordained. I I, I can't do it. But, I am. Um, yeah. All right. See, it's fun. Now you feels ordained. good. It works actually. <laughs> That's I feel fun. ordained. So you don't believe in a uh, flat earth then? The flat earth? I did up until, up until up uh, until the the last days of Galileo, and then I was like, you know, I just I guess I give in. That's a Queen song too, isn't it, Galileo? <laughs> yeah, that's what I call it, Galileo. Play Galileo. You got that? You get the Galileo <laughs> song. It's a good it? song. Yeah. It's my great Galileo favorite, favorite Rhapsody. Song. You know, there's a whole mob thing that what the Earth is flat. Right? Yeah, there's a TV show coming it's out about resurgence. flat earthers. There's going to be a whole series about about flat earthers. That's the beauty of the internet. Like all the hmm. crackpots get to like you know. <laughs> really, you know, get on the same frequency. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let me just say something. Okay, there's a flat Earth. Mm -hmm. Let's just say there's a flat Earth. Mm -hmm. Now what? Now like what's changed? Yeah, yeah, who cares? Big deal. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's right. that's really what you're spending all your time on. Yeah, how do really? we know? How do we know this is an Earth? And how we're about on make, the Earth? Make the Earth suck less. You know, try that. <laughs> it's flat. Who cares? It's really it's beside the point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. No, you. That's a good point. Who cares? What? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Hey, you win. Flat. Congratulations. Great. Yeah. You yeah. win. I agree yes. with you. You get a flat trophy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> so give yourself a plug. You got a gig Sunday at six o'clock. Where is it? Las Vegas, yeah. where? At the Golden Nugget, part of Punk Rock Bowling. Whiskey Pete's, where? <laughs> Whiskey Pete's. We, then we're, do, we're doing a, a residency two weeks at um, Whiskey Pete's with Loverboy. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but, but before that, yeah, it's Sunday, 6 p.m. at the Golden Nugget. If you're part of the festival, I don't know, you go punk to get festival bowling. tickets. Yeah, Punk Rock it's, Bowling. It's, you know, it's an event. A it, it's a really big It deal. used to be just a bowling tournament, but now it really is a festival. Yeah. These guys, the Stearns Brothers, started it as a bowling, as a bowling uh, tournament. There's people it's a real from festival now. We got Rancid. We got uh, Pennywise, The Hives, yeah, Undertones, under Stranglers, The Damned. It's fun. Descendants. Man, it's going to be really exciting for someone like some of the people there. Maybe. Yeah. Do I'm you happy for them. Do you spend a lot of time on on 
Uh, like, do you go to YouTube a lot, Joe, in your spare time? When I can't find nothing on TV, I'll go to uh, <laughs> I'll get I'll get on YouTube and start, you know, yeah. conspiracing about. Do the, yeah, I do a lot of uh, for ancient aliens. I want I I, I know a couple of these uh, conspiracy guys, and I get involved in their rabbit holes. You know who I'd love to get on the box is David Icke. You know who he is? Oh yeah, no, yeah. he's not on Arthur, my he's right? not on my yeah. show. Right. We haven't had him. The, he's the English guy who's, you know, he took, he's the lizard king. He's the lizard guy. He, he, oh, he, he, this is Warren's. This, saw, uh, all right, well, this the, is the Warren's The eyelids rolled back. And all this, oh, the eyelids rolled back on the lizard people. Like, he saw it, like, in a makeup chair or something like that, like on some talk show I heard. Yeah. It was like. He's great, this guy. He's, a, he's English. He used to be a goalkeeper for a, 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 a football team. Then he was a, a then he was a, a pundit. And then, and then he, some, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden he's a full on. Like you know, the the queen's a lizard, and uh, you know the, this whole. He's an expert on that. But there's some, there is some funny, kind of things that make sense to you. What? In amongst the yeah, the, the insanity. But I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it is insanity. We're just programmed a certain way, I guess, right, people. But the world's pretty ridiculous, and so to kind of maybe come up with something slightly more ridiculous doesn't. It's not, you know, it makes sense, kind of. Yeah. People well, could be lizards, I guess. Well, even the Vatican has made. Uh, like they made a few statements a few years ago that says even if aliens exist, it won't change anything in our religion. So why do they have to come forward and 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 allow for aliens to exist if they if they didn't know something? Well, the old excuse is governments. They say, oh, well, we we cover up stuff because people couldn't handle it. You would panic if yeah. But but really, yeah. would you? No. You get yeah. over it real yeah, quick. Yeah, I exactly. Think. Well, I, it, I think if you had a bunch of people together, maybe like crowds are definitely idiots. Like if you told a bunch of people on a microphone, like, "Well, the aliens are coming down tonight," or whatever. There's one right now that they would probably panic and you know riot. But one person would probably be like, "I think the larger a crowd is, the lower the IQ gets collectively." Sure, that's got a lot to do with it, the IQ level. Um, but. I really don't think it would be that big of a deal. I think that's uh, yeah. It's just a cliche that the that 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 people will panic and we have to. The government has to because of the, all the things. movies. Yes, it comes because from the movies. Because of all the movies, right? Aliens that, are coming. Yeah. Ah, we got run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, there are. Um, I mean, that's why I'm I'm so interested in like the the Vatican and their conspiracies because they have the same thing where the Pope has secrets. Like there's this thing called the Third Secret of Fatima that they cannot reveal. Oh, they yeah, were supposed to reveal yeah. in the in the uh, 1960s from a vision that happened in the 19 in 1917. I have a medallion that and, I found, by the way. Of you that. might have I need it. to give to you. And one one guy from a uh, hijacked an Aer Lingus uh, uh, jetliner and flew it around and demanded that the Pope release the Third Secret of Fatima. I mean, it's that it's that big in. Well, in I think it's like a recipe. I guess he just kept driving around then because he didn't give it up, right? No, he didn't. He, well, you know what? They gave it up, and then they said it's really nothing. And then, then the other people, uh, conspiracy people, came forward and said that was a whitewash, and that nun that you brought forward is not Sister Lucia. She's an imposter, and then it goes from there. And you look at there the pictures. There are crisis actors, yeah. Uh, there, so there are some. I, I guess I am a conspiracy uh, nut in that world. So, did you think that some people really do? Uh, uh, a lot of people are sheep, right? They just believe what they see on the paper. Oh, absolutely. In, in, on, oh on the gosh. news. Oh, we, we, we have like three news sources now, and that's all we hear. Now, the majority of people in the world, I don't just talk about America, I mean all over the world. <laughs> what's the percentage of people who just believe what they're told? 90% of I, the whole world? I think it, I think once someone realizes the world's full of crap, like if you have that moment, of, like epiphany at some point, which, depending on your circumstances, might be if you know if you're too sheltered, you might not encounter that. Yeah. But if you if you're in a punk band, you might you know like run across things that you go, oh, this is you know, show business phony. Everything's phony. Like things like that, you go, oh, I'm suspicious of certain things that you know were unexamined assumptions. Before. Yeah, that would be a great name for a band, wouldn't it? The Crisis Actors. Oh, crisis. oh yeah, the Crisis Actors. You get your SAG card, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Crazy oh, thing. and the, the false flag, all that stuff, the, the false, false flag. It's oh. Is that all nonsense to you? It's just so exhausting because it's yeah. like, first of all, no one even, most people don't come to terms with their own narrative, like who they are, like they're in denial about their own crap. Like, no, I'm a, I'm pretty cool or whatever. I got my crap together. Like that kind of aspect. Yeah. Like everything else in the world, like, you know, like a large kind of, you know, big, you know, factors in the world. 
it's too much. Yeah. The, like it's it, and it's really it's so abstract. It's so far removed. It's like who cares? Yeah, yeah. And then you die. You that, mm-hmm. death. We don't deal with death well, at all. We don't. That, that's the biggest denial. Like it's. Morbid. I think I think death is a conspiracy. I don't think it happens. I think I no. Think, I think people are swept away, or something happens. It's it's something fishy. It's that's like that's, we're swept under the, the island. Cu- yeah, it's a reality show. <laughs> <clears throat> we're swept under the carpet. That's what it is. My my big thing is what you know what happens after you die because no one knows. What happened before you were born? Probably the same thing. I think, maybe. You maybe think, it, well, it all depends. We don't know. Maybe we would died and we come back in a womb again and come back and it keeps recycling. We don't That's know. That's so though. depressing that but, idea. But you, you can you can go on and on and on and on and on and on about what happens, but. The truth is no one knows. That's the one thing nobody knows. It's the true mystery. And there's no, you know, it's turtles all the way down. There's no solution to that one. Yeah. Oh, the turtles. Yes. Oh, the turtles? <laughs> the turtle planet and on, the, on top of turtles, the turtle planet, lizards, on top of the turtle planet, on top of the it. turtle planet. Flat, yeah. flat turtles? Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. And Atlas, yeah, it's all tied in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's play uh, a Vandals so, okay. Would you like that? Are we going to play this Halloween? Are we, what are we doing? Oh, speaking we of Halloween, the Duke? we visit in the Duke. Yeah, he can tell the story. We'll come back and play it afterwards. We're going to play the song after we've done the, the Duke. We're going to have tea with the Maharaja. We're here with the Vandals, and we'll see you in a minute. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Cal OS. That was Van Halen. Eruption into You Really Got Me. Beautiful Kinks. Mm-hmm. Original song. And we had The Doors. Not to touch the earth. I think Josh Freese played on that track. Did he? On the doors? Yeah. He shapeshifted back in time. <laughs> yes, he. <laughs> he man, Zurich. Um, then we had Sparks. There's no such thing as aliens. Well, that settles it. That's the old science, too. Yeah. So do Catholics believe in aliens? Uh, I think um, there will be some old school Catholics would say it's not in the Bible and Jesus would have said it. But then the Vatican has made pronouncements allowing for aliens, if they are discovered, uh, alien life, it won't change the religion. So they're kind of preparing everybody for that, it seems. But then there's a, consp- there's a battle. Are these aliens good benefactors or they are uh, evil and demonic? Yeah. H.P. Lovecraft. The answer yeah. is they are evil and demonic, just, uh, just in advance. Oh, that's a spoiler. Okay. Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert. What they're, if they're like cute like E.T.? They're, they're bad still news. Demons? They're bad news. Reese's Pieces and stuff. Don't make a deal. Are they tall? Yeah. They're whatever you want them to Are be. Are they hot? You know? <laughs> do, you think that, <laughs> do you think that they look like the movies? Or could uh, there be an alien among us? Like uh, Zuckerberg. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm yeah, serious. I think it's a legit a, theory. I think there's a, something to that. It's a, it's a good question. Um, I don't know. What, what about Stephen Hawking? Because that's an interesting one. Yeah. Like, the only person, the smartest person alive, only spoke through a wheelchair, like this kind of device. Mm-hmm. And you could have put anything out of that, really, when you think about it. He could have been a perfect puppet, just someone that's immobilized and, and yeah. you know, as and, an alien, and, and like as a vessel to kind of distribute information. And who says he's smart anyway? Because well, he writes a bunch of things on a, on a chalkboard. He's got a robot voice. It sounds smart. <laughs> and his choice of strip clubs uh, to oh, go to was, yes. was uh, I mean, that was like... What was it, Baker's? No, it was, it was like Riverside. 909, yeah, like Swingers. Uh, he was interesting. Shady like, Acres nudist colony? I mean, come on. <laughs> like, That's true. He's easy to spot, too, yeah, in a, like right. in an orgy. Yeah. What was his thing? What, what did he discover? There was a black hole, right? A wheelchair a, rash. And was, Hawking's was, radiation was his big thing of saying that a black hole eventually will dissipate into nothing. Okay. It's like the flat earth. So what? Now exactly. What? You know, it, it makes a huge Who difference cares? to uh, uh, black hole files. So, you know. If you know any <laughs> <laughs> all these bleeding theories and this guy's like he became famous from saying a bunch of stuff on a board right a bunch of numbers and equations and dad, that's my and dad the, and the, at the end of the day again what did it mean and what's the use it's a description of what's already there if you look at it so it's kind of like the cliff notes of reality i suppose yeah i guess it's kind of dumb like an idiot. I'd rather look at a cloud, maybe than like is write a math a, about it. Is he still alive? <laughs> no, he recently passed. Yes, yes. and he like Lou Gehrig's disease he had for like 
insanely long time. Like people go down real quick on it, but he was like decades. Young in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You knew what he liked. Did he like strip clubs? Yeah. Yeah. He actually he, he would make bets over like hustler um, subscriptions too with like his over science bets. You know, like if this is right, you're going to pay for my subscription for the year. Blah 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 with other pervy really? sciences. For, really? That's real. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's nothing. Nothing more tantalizing than someone else paying for your. Hustler subscription. I love free porn, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I'm paying for myself, I just don't enjoy it as much. Yeah. But it's a whole different game now. You don't even need magazines. It's it's, go, it's in you cyber. Go system. Click and boom and mm-hmm. there you and go. That's exactly where it belongs, I think. It's it's like in the air. Like it's not under your bed, you know, or whatever. It's not something to hide. It's it just belongs kind in of, your tree fort. It's going through us like pornography is floating through us and in, in kind of zeros and ones right now, all of us. <laughs> is it like uh, when you like when you talk about porn there'd be a I don't even know what I'm talking about at this what, stage. Just, I mean, like, specifically what kind of pornography? You'd be like, oh, all types. Well, everyone likes different things. I like uh, but, cats. I mean, not cat pornography. I just like, you, you know, know what? That cat just died, the grumpy cat. Grumpy cat, yeah. I, it lived a long time, it seems. No, it didn't. He only had five lives. Seven years. That's, that's, what's, that's the tragedy. Two lives. That he only takes, lived, that, that, she only no, lived for seven it's years. negative thinking. Exactly. That'll kill you. That should go and tell you, don't walk around grumpy. It'll give you a cat also. Right. It yeah. kills you earlier if you're yeah. grumpy. Mm-hmm. That's a true. No. It's true. I agree. All the research uh, proves that. Talk out. to dumb, happy people and they're like, it's just, they're going to outlive all of us. They live everyone. <laughs> yeah. Because they're dumb and happy. Like, oh, I, got, oh. I had a cookie. It was great. Oh, man. I like living. <laughs> you know, little things. I got two tortoises. And they're, they're stupid and they're 23 years old. Yeah, what is the normal... But the porn is awesome that you make with them. <laughs> what they what is own. the they normal do. lifespan of a tortoise? The, these, the mine are going to live to be 100, probably. No, but the, can they actually live? 150, they could. No, yeah. come on. There's a story the other day in the non-fake news, I'm sure, that... Uh, the Nature it, Journal? Someone lost their turtle and, and it went and just hid inside this old house for 50 years without any food. And he was still alive and he just came out. For real? Yeah. You're yeah. not joking? Not joking. Okay, I wouldn't want to live. Supposing you could live 150 years, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd rather live just a normal, like, let's say 70 or 80 yeah. f- for a human. Yeah, it's enough. I'd rather have that than walking around with that bleeding shell on my back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and, and they're just sluggish and kind of like, yeah, it's not. The little not head attractive. comes out now and yeah. again, goes back in. Now, whether I feed them. That's em- it. I feed them every day or I feed them once a month. They make the same sound. Do you give them lettuce? What do you give them? Strawberries, lettuce, uh, nopales. Do they eat? Do they eat ants? They're, they're vegetarian, right? They, um, I, yeah. They don't even know. They I mean, if I give them a piece of chicken, they'll eat it, but they they won't like it. <laughs> they'll just go. Ah, I'm gonna chomp on it. They'll frown. Yeah. yeah. They don't even do anything. They just kind of. They eat each other's face. I'll tell you, you that. Do you feel like you? Do you feel compassion, like 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 a pet, or is it just there? Oh, it's I love them. Blooded, I love right? them dearly. Like do you go and stroke his head and yes, stuff. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And and you think they they know what's going on? Yeah, they know me and they know my wife. Maybe they are the bleeding aliens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're in charge. Yeah, they're, they you. live the yeah, longest. Something. That makes sense. Yeah, they they can, almost yeah. lizardy. Yeah, they control me. Cold blood definitely have the same. You know, that is a, a, that shell is actually a spaceship. Hmm. Could be. Yeah, there's something to that. Well, there's the whole myth of the turtle is the world. We're on. We're just sitting on a turtle. With that, the, and turtles all the way down. That and the turtle. There, that exactly. turtle sitting on another turtle. Well, that's another thing. Uh, aliens could be down in, yeah. the, in the ocean. Who's commanding the other two? In a hollow earth, yes. In a hollow flat earth. In perhaps. a hollow flat earth. <laughs> <sighs> you know what I find funny about the flat earth thing? I know, I know we keep up and <laughs> the ele- on the, about the, the same thing. The, the elaborateness of it is... But yeah. No, but they say that, like, uh, well, at the e- when you get to the end, it's mm-hmm. ice all the way around, like a big uh. ice wall. And I'm thinking, well, what, why can't a plane just fly over it then? Yeah, you don't have to walk. Planes don't fly. Them. Yeah, they. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, I if you get above the ice wall that they're right. saying is making it flat and that you mm-hmm. can't get out, right. why can't you just fly over it? Fly a drone. It over sounds it. like the Game of Thrones thing, like with the big wall, like that frozen yeah. thing. Yeah, uh, so well, a dragon, exactly. probably a dragon, lizard, or the Truman yeah. Show. But then we have planes. I mean, yeah. fly over Do the bleeding thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do we, Steve? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Should we play a new song? Yeah. By the Vandals. Give us the story on this one, Joe. 
Okay, this is uh, uh, Cleopatra Records, uh, bless their hearts, um, asked us to do a Halloween compilation. And um, I so used to have a spooky label, too. Yeah, they're spooky, and I used to own our record label, and I don't want to do uh, – uh, they bought our record label, so I'm very happy that they're taking over the stuff. I don't want to make a record. So I told them to talk to Josh Fries, our drummer. He can, he's all excited about making a record. So pink, you, with the pink poodle. Yeah, with the pink poodle. You can, you can record this song, Josh. And um, in your studio, uh, who wants to make a Halloween uh, song for a compilation? We got, uh, uh, everybody said no. And then I go, well, that's kind of sad. Not the poodle guy. Let me think. My grandma used to sing, the, we couldn't think of what song to do. I mean, the Monster Mash, that song's already perfect. Yeah. So you, 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 um, I thought that my grandma used to sing this song to me about a jack-o'-lantern that, that her brother wrote. And he, he, it was for his radio show in the in the 20s and 30s here in L.A., and his name was Baron Keys. He wrote uh, a bunch of hit songs, one for Don Ho um, called Sweet Someone, which was a huge hit. It was on the Brady Bunch TV show. And then, that. And he had the um, TV show for a while, um, and he had this song called, about the jack-o'-lantern. She sang it to me, and I thought, I wonder if I could find it. And I did on the Internet. It was so weird, an old site with the radio uh, saving shows from old radio programs, mm -hmm. the archives, yeah, the archives, and uh, and there was only one show that was labeled, in all they were all numbered, hundreds of them. One of them was labeled, and it was called the Halloween special. So I listened to it, and I found uh, uh, him playing the song. So this song, we re re we re we did our version of it. So when you hear the song, you're going to hear uh, my uncle Al, who was known as Baron Keys. Uh, his voice at the beginning and at the end. And, uh, it's very emotional, too. It's like Yeah, it's very emotional for like me. Family-wise. My family hasn't even heard this. I was going to surprise them with it. Did you tell him he was on the box today? Uh, I mean, tell my uncle? Uh, today, so, no, so morning? he can hear, hear the bleeding song. <laughs> oh, who? Tell who? The people you're just talking about. I don't know. My uh, family? No. Yeah. They the answer care. is, my, you know, I don't, uh, my wife tells them all. My, I, I walk out of the house, my wife, Sandra, tell, oh, gives you, a text. How is your lovely she's, wife? She's wonderful. Is she's, she listening? Oh, yeah, she's listening. She's texting the family and saying, hey, he's going to play your uncle's song. Okay, I guarantee so you. Yeah. the wife. A wife does keep everyone updated. That's good. Yeah. So thank you for asking. She loves you, and we love seeing you wherever we see you, and we always know we're going to see you because you always go to the fun things. Yeah. So this is the Vandals with my buddy, Joe Escalante, and my new buddy, Warren Fitzgerald. Yeah. And uh, this is a new song called Curse of the Unripe Pumpkin. World premiere, yeah. We know another little song, which you may not have heard before. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. That was Slade, the original uh, tune, Come On, Feel The Noise. And uh, obviously, you know, in the 80s, quite right, at a massive hit. We were talking about that earlier. Anyway, and then we had the Vandals, Curse of the Unright <laughs> Pumpkin. Yeah. We recorded two songs in the last 10 years. That was one of them. Yes, <laughs> things are going in a very good direction. Yes. We, but we know what we do better now that we, uh, than we ever have and being rewarded for not recording new material. Not going into the temptation. Well, normally new, new material from a band that was you yeah. know, back in the day, is, it's always crap. And I, 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 that's one thing I learned. And yeah. we're applying it to our own band. Yeah. You hear a new song, you boo. Yeah. yeah. Don't listen to the guy on the internet that says... Um, when's your new album coming out? Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah, because yeah. no... no and They're be, trolling you. To be honest with you, no one cares. No anyway. one wants to hear a punk song written by a 56-year-old. Exactly. Uh, yes. you know. That is my word. we got to go and visit the Duke. We're here with Joe Escalante this is the Duke. and Warren Fitzgerald from the Vandals. We'll have a bit more of them when we come back. See you in a minute. You're invited to join us here at KLOS in front of the Subaru... You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. That was the Jay Giles band. Hard driving man. That was live from an album, Full House. You look like you want to say something. I, I, I that, they're good. I he was contemplating that was better than the Rolling Stones. I thought, as far as like, it, I thought it was the Rolling Stones for a minute, but that was going. It's better. Well, they were a good live band. Yeah, Jay, Jay Giles band. Oh, Even the harmonica wasn't obnoxious. Like he, he, he's a good. He, he didn't he just die recently, Dicky? No. Mm. I always talk. I always say people are dead when they're not. Steve Hawkins. <laughs> You're the guy that starts those rumors. <laughs> yeah. They're dead, right? Stephen Hawking's is dead. But it's good. Uh, it's good. You know, on this day, if he was still alive, he'd be 90. Mm -hmm. And he's still alive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's better dead, definitely. <laughs> then we had the undertones, Teenage Kicks. Some oh, I love that. Irishmen, very mm -hmm. good. Then went the Damned, 
problem child mm-hmm. who are also playing on this uh, yeah, wild doozy you're doing Sunday. Punk, it's it's punk weekend rock, though, right? Punk it's rock weekend. bowling, Friday, Saturday, Sunday but in Las Vegas. On, but you're on, on Sunday. Sunday. The damned are on Saturday. Yeah. But you're on Sunday, six Sunday, o'clock. Six o'clock. At Whiskey Pete's. At Whiskey Pete's. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the jackpot lounge. Yeah. Be nice. We were talking about, uh, we're back to uh, <laughs> death again. and uh, I love death. Love talking about death. My old, my, this, is, this is my theory. I think that uh, cemeteries are just a waste of real estate. And how many of they're all over the place, tons of acres. But you say it's part of the uh, Catholic, but they're not all Catholic. No, uh, no, I, I was just saying, you asked me, what do the Catholics think? And, and um, it's very clear for them. Uh, I think the principal it, offenders. It's both, <laughs> they are. Well, it's funny, yeah, they tell you to have 11 kids, and then, and then where are we going to bury all these people? But they, they, they allow for the burial or the, or the cremation, but what they don't allow is spreading your ashes around willy nilly. That's uh, it, that's it's like masturbation. It's it's it's. Uh, Why don't they want you to spread ashes? Because it's uh, a sacred. It's it's like desecrating uh, something sacred by just throwing it around. Um, so that's just that's just one of the rules. I love rules. Yeah, <laughs> he's actually yes. <laughs> rules are his thing. But speaking well, of rules, I was telling you there's a problem at Disneyland with yeah. with people spreading their ashes there, uh, nerds, you know, going beyond the normal nerd and then cremate me and my wishes are spread me on Tom Sawyer's Island. And the security people actually have a code when this happens. And they, and it's, it goes along the radio. We got a code. Every you know, freaking day. It code gray, yeah. code gray bone yeah. is going on it over at the Don- wishbone ash, wishbone ash at Mickey Mouse. We got a wishbone ash over at uh, Pluto's uh, doghouse, And uh, it's a problem. <laughs> Is it really the happiest place on earth? I mean, like for you, like you enjoy it very much Disneyland more than I do. Like, well, I can because I can drink there. there. If I couldn't drink there, I, I wouldn't. I that wouldn't does make it more bearable. Yeah, yeah. That makes it. Yeah. If, you, if you're if you're in a line for twenty minutes, that wouldn't make me the happiest person on earth. I hate standing in line more than anything. Who's, I hate standing up, yeah. but standing in line. Ugh. A lot of people like standing in line. A lot oh, of people. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, you, he no loves one. it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't even go on the rides when I'm there. Usually, I'm just walking around. I getting, don't think the ashes weird. are that bad. I mean, if they saves if, saves if, room. Or if you get like a like a like a t-shirt cannon or something, just like shoot it out over like you know the friggin' uh, Space Mountain or something. As deal. sinful as that is, it does make a lot of sense. It's closer to heaven. So you mm. Shoot it up to God. Like, it <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. But but I, but I really I don't. I hate harping on, but it is just this. You know, cemeteries are massive, right? It's but what are we going to put? Acres of but what are we? What are we going to put there? Nothing in it. What are we going to put there? Don't we need the green spaces? What uh, about golf courses? That's important. Well, that's Rodney Dangerfield and uh, Caddyshack. Yeah, ten I acres. Think. It could be a new, uh, Dis- uh, what Disneyland? You could, but then the traffic. Think of the traffic. You could build a lake. Dead people don't drive cars in and out of these areas, so it's actually. I think it works out. Uh, well, I think it's, it's a finite resource, and if every single person got a reasonable burial. Yeah, we and I. I think in the history of everyone, someone's died everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone's corpse. Well, is, you know. My mom thought it was a racket. The, the 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 caskets. She always thought it was a racket, and so she told me, "When I die, Joe, I want you to to fake like you're just hysterical and run up and carve I love you in the casket and yeah. watch that mortuary guy go have a." F- have a fit because he wants to use that again he's going to resell it the oh, next day and yeah. this will be proof and she wanted to use her she wanted to dedicate her life to proving that the, so that what you mean is they they have the That's front a, but you just paid eight or ten grand for this casket yeah. and then when it disappears you're you're taking out the casket put in a sack and then put underground you know showing up with a shovel going like okay well yeah. let's make sure that that thing's in there and yeah, so make sure can, yeah. i'm not just a sack now. yeah she just wanted me to carve it i love you <laughs> That she actually it. did this whole thing. I love you. Oh, do that, Joe. Do it. Yeah. I love that. I didn't have the nerve. When the time came, I didn't have the nerve. Yeah. <laughs> Still that. And jump in the hole. Yeah, that's crazy. I just I just wrote the check. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yes, here you go. That's our fit. There was two things we were going to oh, talk about. Oh, we were going to talk about um, the... Right. Uh, being in a band as old as ours, uh, and and not we right play, and speaking of death, yeah. we just played when the first song that we've ever played on the radio and like you know or recorded <clears throat> two songs in 10, 12 years. People are always saying, "When the Vandals? When is the next Vandals record coming out?" Yeah. But we have resisted that because we know 
They don't really want a new Vandal. They don't not want a song from a band who had its heyday in a certain area. In well, a certain era. well, they all, also they all also want an album like your old stuff. Yes, they want right. the exact they same want thing. more of what it's, which is an impossible task. Like you yeah, because your head ain't yeah. where it was uh, when yeah, you were. Like, and uh, they used to. What was their life then? They were having. Uh, uh, they weren't alive. Unpro- uh, yeah, they right. weren't alive. Or they were having unprotected sex with each other and having a great time. God forbid. Yes. <laughs> But, and then they want you to recreate that that magic in their lives. There are studies about like your ability to enjoy music, new music. It kind of cuts off entirely about age twenty four. Right. And so, you know, your like it, I think that's I've experienced that to some degree. And yeah. so obviously it becomes more nostalgic. It becomes more rose colored yeah. kind of like oh yeah, how can I get more of what I already have, but different but the same. But I do like a lot of. N- newer bands, I like them. Yeah, I, I, like I, th- I think if, I think bands. if you're a curious person, or if you're you know if you're just stuck in that one to, time, exactly. If if you kind of especially you know if you're involved in music, you understand the nostalgia aspects. Depressing, so yeah. yeah. But there, there will be a lot of new bands at this punk rock bowling thing this weekend, and they'll be playing new music. But when you see the Vandals, they're gonna be terrible. You're gonna see um, the 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 controversy will be well, you didn't play this old song or that old song. You only right. for 45 minutes or an hour. You don't. So if we make a new record, which of these songs do you want us to take out to put these new songs written by 55-year-olds? Um, you don't want that. You know you don't want that. So when you see the, and when you see the Damned, I hope they don't play a new song. You know, I hope that, and, yeah. and, I, and I'm going to do my part by not playing a new Vandal song. Yeah. And we're just going to have a good time for an hour. And, uh, and we've been rewarded for that because our, our shows have gotten bigger. Our paycheck is bigger. Everything is better well, with me- this, by not playing Never new try. songs. Yeah, yeah, well, mentally, these... Like bands that do, like let's just say for instance, the Dab, if they do a new record, in their mind they think that people are, are interested in, mm-hmm. in new stuff. Because there's usually one clown going, "When's the new record coming out?" And they're like, "Let's satisfy that guy." But I think they also do it to make a couple of bucks too. <laughs> Publishing, blah blah blah. Yeah, you there's can, some you artistic might, impulse. Probably you might be able to license one of your songs to a new, you know, an episode of of uh, some new TV show or something, but. I, I, I just don't I don't know for it's worked out not doing it yeah for us I'm, I'm I want to expand you. the boundaries of what a song is defined as like you know what I mean like a commercial or something like that like do something that's not really music like that would be fun for me like to just that's put you, out a record that makes no sense like, we've been doing that and, and I know but really commit to like a new really innovative way of like, well we like, made a whole record about Australia we made a whole yeah. EP about Australia like a concept record a uh, concept record what, what is it our singer said hey, what the hell why would you why would you do that and then we it's just sitting on a shelf somewhere well, you, you know what? <laughs> it's not, it hasn't been released. Well, there is a lot of room in Australia for, for uh, cemeteries. Yeah, they can do it. Okay, yeah. there you go. Move Let's... all the cemeteries to Australia. Into the outback, yeah. I'm for that. I think, I like shooting people in space, too. I think that's pretty cool. Like, there's oh, plenty orbit. of room in space. Apparently. Orbit corpses. Yeah. Just, yeah, just, there's, there is tons of uh, stuff S- flying space around. Space in space. What do they call it? Trash, though? Like, just stuff. Oh, space junk? Yeah. Space junk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's problematic because it goes really fast and a BB can kind of... So we're told. Yes. We have no idea. Yeah. Well, I what don't is think space exists. Space. Yeah. I, I think it's highly debatable whether even, you know, the sky exists, honestly. Maybe <laughs> the, see, you just put like all these coffins in space and see what happens to them. It might you're, be coffins already. You're going to have to streamline them, though, because they're not very aerodynamic as they are Well, they now. kind of are. No, they, they kind, put, they kind of got the... Like you, an arrow? Well, I sell these cones that you can put on a, on the end of a... a Fins? A, a, like, I, sell, I sell these cones. They're like a, a space-age polymer, and you put them on top of coffins so they can go to space. Like a spoiler, like on the back of a, yeah, yeah. a, a Honda. Okay. Just put some bu- just put some bumpers on them and they, so they don't smash into like the Like bumper other cars. One. Yeah. It's one big bumper car for dead people. That'd be awesome. I'd be a space tourist to check that out. Like watch the coffins bump into each other. That'd be hilarious. You know when they said there's no sound in space? It's laughter. I don't believe that. I don't like if I if Do they say that? I'm there? outside yeah. a spaceship, right? And you know you see them blokes outside fixing something. Right. I bet if I banged on the side of the spaceship, I'm, I bet there's no big noise there. Yeah, I'm yeah. with you. I'm with you. Or if like you know, like yell at him or something. Yeah. How come the the video up there is the, such a high resolution and it's so much better than than like everything because it ain't on real. TV. It's a sound. They're rocket scientists. It's yeah. a sound stage. <laughs> yeah. Well, for it's it's that's the the number one ar- argument for the uh, that we didn't go NASA. to the moon. It, the, another one argument against this being real is the resolution of those pictures. They're just too beautiful. Maybe space is too beautiful for people. Actually, we shouldn't even be allowed. We, there. we shouldn't be allowed. Yeah, allowed. but I we think, but we do because we're nosy. Unless we're dead. Humans are nosy. It's heaven. You know. It is heaven. I think the moon's heaven. Maybe. 
I don't know why we don't go there more often. You know, well, we, we got could, the flag up there. So you, could yeah. this, you could do that I'm, in the sixties. I'm, sure, I'm some, sure that flag's like three wa- buttons worn out by now, isn't it? Uh, actually, um, because there's no atmosphere, or like the footprints are still there exactly as they were. There's no air. There's no anything. And even the golf ball that they hit, I think, is still spinning. So around. they don't have storms up at, at Moon. It's just like the the micro occasional micro kind of uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, yeah. Asteroid kind of comes down, like, and that's about it. It's very calm, very placid lake. It's called the Sea of Tranquility. It's where they landed. It's mellow. Who, True story. who came up with that name? Uh, uh, what's his name? The, the Paradise guy. Um, Stephen Hawkins. No, the the um, the the guy that has cheese, like cheeseburger in Paradise. No. Who? <laughs> uh, what's his name? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Buffett, Buffett came up. Yeah, with, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he has a song about it, and they they named it after that song. Is that the rich guy? He's very rich, no. from my understanding. Yes, he has a Jimmy uh, Buffett's probably richer than Warren Buffett. Oh, he's <laughs> yeah, he's the Margaritaville. <laughs> they're they're yeah, twin yeah. brothers. Yeah, yeah, he's the genius behind the Margaritaville. Do you think they're related? That would be awesome. That I would be really. I would like to think that. And they don't get along. Maybe they hate each other. Yeah, I'd rather be friends with the rich guy than the poor one. <laughs> like the parent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I had to take sides, if they were both my friends and they fell out, the businessman's way. I'd cool make sure I was. Bad friends with the rich dude. I heard Jimmy Buffett's a tough hang. Yeah, well, he's, I'll take my chances on Warren Buffett. Uh, Warren Buffett he, he eats McDonald's every day, so I admire that about him. I think you know, and uses coupons. Well, uh, you know, the word Buffett is like a food yeah. thing. All you can eat. It's a hometown Buffett. Warren Buffet. Yes. Warren okay, that's Buffet. a good, that's a good Buffet. name. I should change my name to that. Actually, <laughs> Warren Buffet Fitzgerald. <laughs> Are we, uh, <laughs> this has been constructive, actually. Thank you for that. Are we knocking it on the head? Yeah, we have to start wrapping it up, I think. Are we playing any music or not? We're just going to knock it on the head. Just knock it on the head. Joe, <laughs> thanks for coming by. Thanks, Steve. It was great to be here. Great to see you again. And Warren. A pleasure. Thank you, Mark. Yes. Thank you, Jordan. Warren Buffet. <laughs> Warren Buffet. Fitzgerald. <laughs> Newly Christian. The Vandals. They're playing Sunday, 6 o'clock. A Whiskey Pete's in Las Vegas. <laughs> Whiskey Pete's. <laughs> Punk Rock Bowling. Whiskey Pete's. The 99 cent shrimp cocktail. Uh, tomorrow mm. we have, uh, who do we have on tomorrow? Oh, we have Beetroot. Beetroot. Bloody Beetroot. Yeah. Bloody. <laughs> Is that, that's what he goes yeah. by, right? We've had him on before. He's this Italian guy. He wears a mask. He's, he's a good, oh, okay. good, good dude. Good dude. Nice. And uh, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Halloween. Love pets? Join